Aaron reportedly goes back at least four more times to see his teacher, but now he's not alone. On May 10th, 2011, Aaron brings three friends. On Aaron brought the whole football team. He knew what time she was on and he brought the whole football team. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy daddy, Scobar Drew Alright y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have a crazy video. This teacher got caught getting a choo-choo train ran on her by her students. Now, this is a grown woman. And she didn't even just get caught sleeping with one of her kids, one of her students. She got caught getting a train ran on her. And I don't know if y'all know what that means. That means one person, hit, move. Next person, hit, move move next person hit multiple multiple you know what i'm saying the teacher is i don't know what we go call her because i don't want to disrespect nobody but you know what the heck she is you know what i'm saying but we're gonna hop right into this video so let's let's just hop right into this man it has been a week of school stories in the news everything from hot debates about hot lunches to how to stop bullying kids are settling back into the routine except at one high school in texas a community there is still reeling from an explosive court case that just finished a teacher student sex scandal make that plural on the students one teacher five students who say it in five students miss parker is a little fat involved a game of truth or dare but in this case nobody won here's deborah roberts Welcome what is this to music? High School, just outside Fort Worth, Texas, a conservative cow town. Brittany Collops, a 12th grade English teacher, is finishing up her first year. Petite and 28 years old, she's become one. Did her? Okay, I'm understanding why. Well, I'm not understanding why. You know that she's ugly, you know what I'm saying? But she's ugly, but you know, when people don't really get a lot of action when they're younger, they, they grow up chasing anything. And this is a sick mother, sick, sick mofo that's chasing the wrong things. But I get why she's ugly. She needs, she doesn't get interaction by anybody else. So she needs to, to, to take advantage of her position as a teacher. She's ugly. Mildly popular and chummy with the athletes in her classroom. And by all appearances, seems happily married, living an idyllic life in the suburbs. And she married? Three children. She look worse and worse every picture they put up. But he like perfect for her because he he like a a two and she a two. So together they make a zero. I'm just hearing your side of the story. Now, Collops is no longer that popular teacher at Kennedale High. These days, she's in a yellow jailhouse jumpsuit with lots of time on her hands. Five years to be exact. That's it? You read and you write and you just uh, read. How did she wind up here inside county lockup? It all began with a simple text to a student, a star athlete in her class. Collops asks him, do you know what time the baseball game starts? In the weeks that follow, Brittany Collops will exchange 300 pages of sexually explicit texts with that student known in court documents as Aaron. And she's telling him to skip class and come to her classroom and have a rendezvous with her. They never have that rendezvous, it turns out. But assistant DA Elizabeth Beach says Collips became infatuated with Aaron, telling the football player, with all my other students, I look at them and see boys. But with you, I see a man. And then there's this candidate mission. I'm a anything goes in sex kind of girl. Sitting in the classroom, she goes into these very specific sexual text messages. She married with kids. And she's doing all this to a, a student. Hmm. Is about the things she wants him to do to her body. I like pulling hair, biting, scratching, spanking. She a kinky little mother. She a little, a little frickety. Hold on. And I even like being choked. How did you ever even wind up with a student? I'd really... Honestly, rather not even talk about the details of that. But tonight, Brittany Collips is breaking her silence for the very first time in this exclusive interview with 2020. It's April 2011. Collips invites... Can we pause for a second, realistically? So, she's getting interviewed for this whole thing like she's some superstar or something like that. 
Now, if it was the other way around, it was a dude. I'm not saying it's right for a dude to do it, but I'm just saying he would be rotting under the jail, never seeing daylight. But she's over here walking around, no handcuffs on on TV, getting famous and all this stuff. Versus a dude, if a dude did that to his um, students, he never see the light of day again. Why is she even on here? I'm not saying that they should both be on the screen. I'm saying they never. They sh this should not even be a video. I should not be sitting here reacting to this. This should never have happened. Aaron into her home to watch a movie. Her husband and children are away, and teacher and student end up having sex. And it won't be the last time. Aaron reportedly goes back at least four more times to see his teacher. But now he's not alone. On May 10th, 2011, Aaron brings three friends. On Aaron brought the whole football team. He knew what time she was on, and he brought the whole football team. Aaron is a menace to society. He needs to go to jail, too, because he done set that woman up. Multiple times. Football players to Collip's home for spaghetti dinner. But prosecutors say they end up getting more than just a home-cooked meal. Yeah, she, she made spaghetti. They provided the balls. Uh-huh. Yeah. Their teacher reportedly puts on a lingerie show, pulling out sex toys, leading the four willing jocks to her bedroom. She's performing one sex act on one student, and she is simultaneously performing another sex act on another student and she's farming out her kids for the night so that she can have four students in and engage in what is more or less an orgy. But this nice. time it's all captured on Aaron's cell phone by one of his pals in Collip's bed. There are multiple participants in this particular act. Wow. Yes. Pretty uh, graphic video. A bit graphic, yes. The video so graphic, it's unsuitable for air. When they began filming, she said, don't shine that light in my eyes. Back at school, that steamy cell phone video is grist for hallway gossip and bragging rights. I felt like I was victimized in that video. because it... You was victimized? You the little kinky little weird old perverted teacher. You ain't victimized in nothing. You was, you was, I mean... You victimizing other people. They your victims. Freaking ugly troll. I did not. I never gave my consent for it. You were victimized, even though I you're older like than these students. Does it? Does age matter if someone's a victim of a crime? Collips, a victim? I was a victim. The law in Texas says otherwise. The first year teacher is called to the principal's office. Five days later, Collips is arrested and taken into custody. A school district shock. The teacher accused of having sex with five students. Accused of getting students. too close to members of the school's football team. Plus students bragged. Imagine you find out your wife was doing this, bro. Like, come on. You lost, you lost all respect. You can never go hang out with the bros no more. Your bros probably hit. You, you, the, your mom. Imagine your mom did this. That is sad for the kids and for the husband. Praying to hand emojis for them right now. About it and Nothing ever sort of clicked for you that I could actually wind up being arrested for this. A lot of times people don't aren't necessarily thinking straight. Many in this oh, we know. You're stupid. are outraged. I think it's disgusting. I mean, I don't understand. That's kind of messed up what she did, but I mean, I don't know. I kind of feel bad for her. Of course, you never think it's going to be your neighbor. What part of this is inappropriate didn't you get? Well, it's not that I didn't get it. And I'm not saying that I don't take responsibility for my actions. I do. I should never be able to teach again. But she doesn't believe she should be in jail, since all the athletes she had sex with were 18 or older. Technically grown men, Collip says, who knowingly played their role in a tawdry sex game. Some people would ask, Brittany, if you wanted to have sex outside of your marriage why didn't you turn to somebody your own age because they don't want her look at her she's booty balls ugly they don't want her she can't go to somebody her age she has to take advantage of younger people they don't want her because she's look at her somebody look at her please you know i can understand why people ask those questions because they're still students even though they were at the age of consent i'm not trying to say that it's not wrong or immoral for a teacher to have a sexual relationship with her students i'm not saying that but i don't think in this situation where they were legal consenting adults, it should not um, affect me or anybody else legally. But in Texas, it does. 
The law clearly says that no teacher can have sex with any student at any age in 12th grade or below. These were 18 and 19 year old boys who seemed to be consensual. Where's the crime? Who has more power in the classroom? Does the teacher have more power or does the student have more power? The teacher has more power and so the teacher can use that power to sexually exploit students in the classroom, even if those students are 18 years old. And even if they're willingly yes. going along with the teacher in some sexual game. Yes. Is Brittany Collips a sexual predator? In my opinion, she is. In no way, shape, or form was I ever preying on anybody. I Read the text. Read the text messages. I never coerced anybody to do anything. I never bribed anybody to do anything. I didn't offer grades in exchange for anything. Last month, a jury heard explicit and damning testimony. She said that she craved that I had something that she wanted. All five of the teens. He sound black. <laughs> she, she not only cheated, she not only cheated on her husband, she, she, she not only slept with the, th <laughs> with, with, a student, but she switched sides. She changed teams. She went black. <laughs> End up testifying, beginning with Aaron. The very first thing was when she actually brought out some uh, toys. What happened with the clothes? They came off. Everybody's clothes? Yes, ma'am. Well, maybe he's not black. I don't know. I can't tell no more. Then the defense's argument. You look excited to be there. Would that be fair to say? Yes, you are happy to be there. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Are they victims? Not in my opinion. They didn't feel like I victimized them. They didn't feel like victims, you know, last year. They don't feel like victims now. And they didn't want anything to happen to me either. In fact, one student wanted to testify on his teacher's behalf, says defense lawyer Lex Johnston. You feel like a victim? No, sir. Do you know what you were doing? back then? Yes, sir. Not a single one of them feels that they are victims. They didn't want this to go to court. I'm not gonna lie, they probably would never feel like they was victims. Cause, it's, never mind, I ain't finna get into that. I ain't finna get into that. Not today, not today. Do you think what she did was wrong? Morally, yeah. These were men who pursued her, took advantage of a, of a mother who separated from her husband. Wait a minute, you're saying the guys took advantage of her? Yes. We're supposed to feel sorry for Brittany? I feel sorry for Brittany. The jury apparently did not. They find Collips guilty of 16 counts of inappropriate behavior. 16? How many people she slept with? Sentencing the teacher to five years in prison. Man, oh man. This woman right here was going crazy. This woman right here was, I don't know, I don't know. Like, like I said, it's, it's hard, they, even if they don't feel victimized, right? Let's say a billionaire. Let's say you steal $100 from a billionaire. They not gonna feel like a victim, but you still stole. You still a thief. You know what I'm saying? If you stole a Balenciaga book bag from someone who makes $100 million a day, they don't feel victimized because it doesn't affect them right then and there because they're in this situation. But that does not make you a thief. That does not not make you a thief. You get what I'm saying? It's still a crime. No matter if the person doesn't feel victimized. She only got five years anyway. It's not like they put her under the freaking jail like they would have if it was a dude. She ain't go to jail for the rest of her freaking life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Personally, she deserved to go to jail. Personally, she does not deserve to have this TV show written about her stupid self. Personally, them dudes was, was, was doing... I ain't even finna say it, man, but that's the end of the video. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. If y'all like crazy videos, I highly suggest y'all watch this video right here. This mama found this 19-year-old sleeping with her 13-year-old. I know it sounds crazy. It is crazy. So watch it right there. You know what I'm saying? But that's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.